Thank you, Eddie. And thanks to AWS for the opportunity to be here with you today and share our story. At our core, Cerner is a healthcare technology company. And we develop software that powers healthcare delivery throughout a patient's lifetime across multiple venues and providers of care. And we do that while helping health systems efficiently manage complex billing and revenue cycles. Now, we're a global company managing the data of nearly 250 million people around the world. And every day, close to 3 million healthcare professionals in more than 30 countries access our secure system. And at 23 petabytes, Cerner has both one of the largest collections of personal health information in the world and a tremendous opportunity to transform the well-being of the world's population. Now, transformation is something we're accustomed to. For 40 years, we've ushered in healthcare's digital age by moving medical data from paper charts and manila folders to electronic health records. And this process is nearly com complete, and it's providing a more organized view of patient medical history. And it's also improving communication among care teams and overall the quality of care. But as you know, healthcare is a journey of continuous improvement, and we have a lot more to do. Globally, if you think about it, there's more than $7 trillion spent on healthcare each year. And the United States alone accounts for roughly half of that. So, and recently, the American Medical Association estimated that up to a quarter of US spending on healthcare, that's nearly a trillion dollars, is wasted. And that waste comes in many forms. It comes in variation of care delivery. It comes sometimes in over-treating patients. And we know for sure we have data gaps that lead to challenges as patients age and receive care from different doctors and different facilities spread out across the country. So the volume of data and care delivery requires new tools. So let's start by thinking bigger. Um, what Cerner is really doing is making the world's healthcare data actionable. For example, we made paper data more accessible by going digital, and now we're working on reducing variation on how providers actually deliver the care. But what we and the rest of healthcare really haven't done well yet is learning, predicting, and preventing problems by leveraging the power of the data. So who has done this before? Who knows how to leverage the power of data really well? Amazon Web Services. So we're delighted to be here. And in, uh, in July of this year, we announced an expansion of our AWS collaboration to help us drive our strategic priorities. And those are around migration, modernization, and innovation. So we're migrating our privately hosted platforms to AWS. And we're doing that with our joint pledge for the responsible and ethical treatment of healthcare data. And we want to modernize the way we deliver our solutions by enabling software as a service and data science at scale. And it's really by using infrastructure and machine learning services that will help us do that. And we're innovating by leveraging these services into new solutions for the marketplace. Our goal overall is to improve patient outcomes, is to reduce administrative and operational complexity, and is to predict and prevent health issues as early as possible. So let's look at two examples. Um, as you may know, you hear about it a lot in the press, unnecessary follow-up visits to a hospital are a huge contributor to waste in the healthcare system. So we call these readmissions. And a readmission is basically a redo. So think about taking your car into the local mechanic to have something fixed. And within 30 days, you're back in the mechanic shop having it done again. Basically the same work. Um, very, very expensive and very frustrating. Ideally, that second time or that readmission should not happen. So in healthcare, readmission costs are actually, uh, they're higher than the initial visit for two thirds of the most common diagnoses. And if we could predict that readmission and do something to, with the, to help the clinician to modify the treatment plan, um, we could possibly prevent it in the first place. And of course, that's much better for the patient, it's better for the caregiver, it's better for the family, and it saves on the costs. So one of the largest healthcare providers in the United States uh, asked us to help them predict patients who are at risk for being readmitted. So we leveraged five years of AWS data 
um, that we had aggregated together with them over our data aggregated with AWS. And we used machine learning services to build, train, and deploy the predictive model. Now with that prediction, the caregiver can now change their approach before discharging the patient. And that's really the key to preventing second episodes of care. And these are often very significant for patients that have traumatic brain and spinal cord injuries, um, stroke and other neurological conditions, and many more. So this model was used creating the knowledge, skills, and capabilities of both the healthcare system and Cerner. And the collaboration was really made possible through the cloud infrastructure provided by AWS. And as a result, the healthcare system reported its lowest readmission rate in more than a decade, while simultaneously increasing its discharge to community rate. All that means basically fewer patients were being readmitted and more patients were returning to their homes, which of course is where they would prefer to be. So as we leverage more of the infrastructure and machine learning services by AWS, we expect to see more successes like this. Another example of the work we're doing with AWS is really focused on returning the joy of practicing medicine. And if you read the popular press or hear about it, you, one of the things you hear is that in the United States, about 40% of physicians report that they feel depressed or burned out um, by the stress of the role. And part of that is certainly that they're spending more than half their day often documenting information, just doing data entry. So this has really become a burden. So yes, we've digitized healthcare, but at the same time, the documentation requirements have gone way up. So what if we could reduce or eliminate data entry for the physician? I mean, think what an incredible opportunity that is. So Cerner is developing a virtual scribe application that captures doctor-patient interaction using speech recognition. What it does is suggest allergies, medications, medical problems, and it integrates that information directly into the physician's workflow. And we're using AWS Transcribe Medical for the speech recognition that powers this innovation. And I'm confident with AWS clear leadership in voice and speech and our expertise in healthcare workflows, we'll give doctors more time to spend with patients. And that's what they really want. So we're excited about how this collaboration helps us move closer to Cerner's vision. And our vision is really a seamless and connected word, world where everyone thrives, created by breakthrough innovation, innovation that shapes the future of healthcare, because we can all appreciate that healthcare is far too important to stay the same. Thanks for your time this morning. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.